commissioners has a record of supporting mentored youth hunting and now mentored adult hunting. The program, the mentored youth program, has enabled many young hunters to get started at an early age. Many of you have been instrumental in starting and supporting the mentored youth program in Pennsylvania. If the program is altered in any way, please do not take this as a personal attack on you or your organization. We appreciate your support. At this time, we're simply discussing adjustments to fine-tune an already good program. Pennsylvania was one of the earliest states to institute mentored youth hunting. Does it make sense that if we have more experience with this program than in most other states, we might be the first to recognize the need for <coughs> minor changes? Safety is not the issue in this item or in this agenda item. We all recognize the mentored youth program has a very good safety record. One of the issues for me is the perception of hunters and children hunting by the non-public or the non-hunting public. Do we really want to convince people that three, four, and five-year-olds routinely kill deer with weapons bigger than they are? We have also seen anecdotal evidence from our field staff indicating that some hunters are abusing the program. Recently, I had conversations with other commissioners about whether or not we should include this issue on the agenda. Most agreed that it should be put on the agenda for discussion purposes. Since the agenda was posted on the website, Many hunters on both sides of the issue have contacted us through the GM comment program, private emails, phone calls, and letters. This is how the system should work. Today, many of you are here to provide additional comments. Thank you for coming, and we value your input. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Weiner. Any other commissioners like to make a comment at this time? Hearing none, we'll proceed. Alex, go ahead and come up. And on deck, Bud Wills. Thank you. This is my first time being here, so I'm a little taken aback. Um, first, thank you for explaining what my questions were. I support the Mentor Youth Program. My grandson, at six years old, took his first year this year. That meant more to me than any of the bucks I've ever harvested. With that being said, some of the issues with the mentor youth program is the abuse of it. What I implore you to do is to give our conservation officers the tools and the resources necessary to put that into check. My whole reason for being here is because what I read in the uh, agenda is not actually what's happened. And I thank you for addressing that issue. But with that being said, the people that I've talked to within the community, within the organization, their issue is the people out there having a five-year-old child or a four-year-old child, and the weapon they're using is a 300 weather. That child's not going to shoot that gun. Or they're finding people hunting illegally. Again, what I'm now talking about is not what I came down here to talk about but give the conservation officers the tools they need to stop the issue. The issue is not with the children. You've said that. The issue is with the outlaws. Outlaws will be outlaws. Thieves will be thieves. And poachers will be poachers. But children will be children one time. Thank you for teaching the Mentor Youth Program. Thank you for explaining it better than what it was on the agenda. Thank you for serving us. 